going to be reviewing my new Cleveland CG15 wedge that I got. I got it for $130 at Golf Town about a month ago, so I've done a lot of testing with it. Um, so I'm going to talk about it and just tell you what kind of a wedge it is. So as you can see, it's a bladed wedge. And I'm just going to talk about the new fe features it has on it. So as you might know, it has a new uh, laser milled uh, face. You might be able to see that. Laser milled face, and what that does, that actually... Um, just gets as much face roughness as you po as Cleveland can possibly can can get within the rules of golf. So you don't have to worry about uh, it conforming to USGA rules because it already is. So um, that's what's a new thing, and it has a lot has it has a lot of spin on it and a lot of control, and that's what I like about this wedge, and that's why I, I got it because I wanted more spin around the greens, especially with my Strix on Z Star. It has it, it just stops on a dime when you hit it, when you get crisp contact. Also, the feel of this wedge, I like it a lot. Um, there you go, you can see some of the marks where I hit it in the sweet spot. Maybe, maybe right there. But, when you hit this wedge in the sweet spot, it's amazing. I love it so much, it just, it's a confidence-inspiring feeling. And, um, it just makes you want to hit it all day when you're at the range. So, um... Another thing it has, it has the S-shaped sole design, and this re reduces um, drift drive and makes bunker play easier. And when you open the club face, it um, just uh, makes it easier to hit the ball. Also, it has the same zip grooves. And the shaft is a true, tra true temper traction shaft. It's softer at the bottom and a little bit stiffer in the top and medium in the middle, and that improves feel. So, um, the, one of the things I don't like about this wedge is the grip. It feels nice, but it rubs off on my fingers a lot, and it just makes them all dirty. And it can get slippery when my fingers get when my hands get sweaty. So overall, it's a really good wedge. I remember. Um, I mean, I I recommend uh, picking this up and uh, replacing it with your for your old wedges because, but if you're an amateur, by the by the end of this year. They're going to stop making these because the grooves are too big for uh, the PGA Tour. It doesn't conform to the rules. Um, uh, doesn't conform to USGA rules. I said I said it did earlier. Sorry, but um, get these because you can use these up until 2024. So uh, get maximum backspin and um, yeah, good feel and it's overall it's a very uh, it's a very good wedge. This is 56. I'm going to be buying a 52 soon once I have enough money. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review.